Impressions of the Husqvarna or Husqvarna V548. Stand on the mower is it's a very good mower. It's a bit of a beast, takes a bit of getting used to compared to the Toro anyway that I went on the other day, but that's because this is a 48 and the Toro is a 30, 38. 36, 36. But um, yeah, it's a good mower. It's much more less inclined to wheelie because it's got the hydros up on the front here but that also makes it slightly more tricky to get to the belts if you need to change them but I think I'd take a better balance center of gravity over ease of changing the belts because I change the belts less than I actually ride on hills so it's a quick machine it's about 17 kilometers an hour this here is your deck lever so you just push that to lower it and switch here Pull that up to raise it. So you just literally, very simple mechanism, very straightforward height adjustments here. Just push that in, pull that out, and you've got from 1.5 to 5 inches. This is your handbrake, which doesn't really do a lot to be honest. It can still roll quite easily, but but um, you have to engage the handbrake to let your hands off this. This is you have to have that on or push down, and the handbrake. And get um, you have to push that down and put the handbrake down obviously to go, to go and then when you want to stop you have to push pull this handbrake on if you let your hand let your hands off this and the handbrake's not on the engine will cut out which is a little bit annoying because sometimes you don't you just want to jump off you don't need to do you don't want to do this every time um, but I can see why they've done that safety reasons obviously fuel gauge here it's pretty cool this one's got 47.1 hours pretty straightforward PTO switch throttle, choke, and then your controls here. Got a good, this is comfortable. I prefer this one to the Toro. It's a little bit sort of molded so you can lean into it a bit more. And this all folds down as well so you can get to get to the battery and various bits in there. Oil, very easy to do that. Battery, it's pretty cool. Fuel tank here, not sure what size it is. Pretty big though. I think it's maybe a 20 or 30 litre one. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, yeah, it's got the Kawasaki FX 751V engine, which is pretty decent. I think that's the 22 horsepower. Again, I'll double check when I get back. And it comes in this beautiful orange.
massive wheels, solid. It's got the scalp, anti-scalp wheels on the deck. This is a 48, it's got three blades. And if I can get underneath here so you can have a look. The spindles, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Can you see in there? Those spindles are bloody massive. Real chunky, solid. It's hard to see in the video, I'm sure, but trust me, they're built like tanks. As are these bits here. It's a good solid machine. Very nice to use, cuts beautifully. Probably, probably can't really tell in this in here, but this is a buffalo slash a bit of cooch and stuff mixed in, but predominantly buffalo, and it cuts it beautifully. Beautiful, I say. First impressions of the Husky, it's a beast, it really is a beast, it's uh, well it's actually a 48 inch so it's not that much of a beast but it feels like a beast, especially compared to that Toro, anyway let's keep mowing, more mowing, more money!
compared to my Hustler, it's just in a different class to my personal Hustler. I've only got the Fast Track SD, which is a, it's not really even a commercial motor to be honest. It does me all right, but this is in a different, different league altogether, as is that Toro that I tried the other day. The grandstand, they're just a couple of notches up the ladder, you know. This is quicker, way more productive. Obviously it's a 48 inch cut and it is actually quite a bit better on hills. I wasn't sure at first, but trying it again today on some more hills, slopes and stuff, this does grip much more than my than my Hustler. Um, on my Hustler, I have to go almost always forwards up hills at an angle. If I try and come down a hill, it just loses its grip. But this one, you can go forward or backwards, within reason, obviously. I mean forward, like up the hill or down the hill. Um, within reason, you know, you can't go crazy, but I, know, I did actually notice considerably more grip than on my Hustler, which is good because then it means you can do things a bit quicker because you can just bomb along the side of a slope rather than having to go up and down it all the time. So yeah, I like this mow, very, very cool. Thank you to Husqvarna, or Husqvarna, however you bloody pronounce it, for the, um, well, thank you to Ashmore Mower Center, really, in, uh, in Ashmore. Thank you to the boys down there, Ryan in particular, and Matt. Really appreciate you getting this out to me, mate, and lending it to me. And um, obviously to Husqvarna as well for making such a lovely machine. It's, uh, yeah, really cool. Really enjoyed using this. So I've got a couple more I want to test out before I bite the bullet and fire the old cash cannon. As my mate on uh, JWN Lawn Care said recently, he just got himself a 48 inch grandstand, which looks bloody awesome. Top work, mate, top work indeed. So uh, yeah, I've got a few more to try out and then we'll, um, we'll make a decision, eh? So I'll keep you posted on how things are going and I'll obviously do little videos and stuff of the other, I've got a Gravely, I want to try a right somehow, I don't think that's going to be possible. And someone told me the other day about a Bobcat as well, which he recommended, so. We'll, um, I want a Skag. Oh man, it's endless, isn't it? It's just heaps of them. It's just what I can get my hands on, really. Um, I should be able to get hold of most of them, but we'll see how we go. All right, guys, well, that is the Husqvarna, or the Husqvarna. Husqvarna. How do you actually pronounce it? Can someone tell me? I get comments all the time. Husqvarna, it's not Husqvarna, it's Husqvarna. It's a bit like Nikon and Nikon, isn't it? But anyway, this is the Husky, the V548. My initial first impressions, or demo impressions, I guess. I've had it for a couple of days now. Is It's a very good mower, and it's a contender for sure. Cuts beautifully, pretty quick, well balanced. Probably, the, I'd say this was better balanced than that grandstand I tried the other day, but that was a 36 inch. I think the 48's a bit more, um, less wheelie inclined. This one doesn't really wheelie, which can be fun, but not when you don't want it. Anyway guys, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Got any comments or questions, hit me up down below. All right, see ya.